Hi, this is another short video um, about the CTX3000 by Casio keyboard and I'm going to show you some of the controls on this side of the keyboard in particular in this short video about the octave and the transpose buttons and uh, how to operate those. So at the moment I've got the keyboard set to just a piano voice and if I play the middle key on the keyboard, the middle C, which is just below the registration button here, then you can hear the note middle C. If I press the transpose arrow up, you can see it now says zero one, and I play that the same note on the keyboard, it's moved up by half a step or a semitone. If I press it again, We've now moved up another half step and I can keep going. And with every press, it moves up by half a step until we're 12 semitones above the original. If I want to go immediately back to the original, I can just press the two buttons together at the same time. And then the transpose resets to zero, zero. So now we're back at middle C. And obviously if I want to go in the opposite direction then I can use the downward arrow as well. And again I can go down um, 12 semitones, so a, a, an octave in the opposite direction. And I can press the 2 to reset. I tend to use the um, control wheel here to uh, do large sweeps. So. The thing to remember is to make sure you press your trans one of these transpose buttons so it says transpose and then you can use the wheel to make larger sweeps or I could use the plus and minus buttons as well. If you don't do it when the transpose button is lit, so for instance, now it's changed to voice 900, which happens to be a, a piano voice. Then the wheel is going to change the tone. It's not going to change the transpose. So make sure you press the transpose button and then the wheel is affecting the transposition. The other thing, uh, the, the other control here is the octave button notice how there's a line underneath. So for octaves you've got to hold down the octave button and then press the arrow. So I've moved up three octaves. You've got three octaves. And now we're back to where we started. Again I tend to use the uh, data wheel but again, make sure that you've got um, the display reading octave uh, before you do anything with the wheel. And again, I can go three octaves below. I'm still playing middle C on the keyboard. Still playing the one key. But I've got a three octave above or three octave below that note that I'm playing. And of course, if I combine that, say, with the, the transposition, so if I move the transposition up an octave, then I've got really four octaves. So, so I'm playing middle C on the keyboard, and I've still got another two octaves of notes to go after that, and, and again, work the other way if I just reset the transpose back to zero and uh, put it to minus transpose 12 minus 12 then we've got some very low we've got four octaves below the, the middle C that I'm playing here anyway let's put it all back to middle C zero now these controls are on the right hand side of the keyboard which is fine if you want to operate those with your right hand, but if your right hand is busy playing a melody, 
um, then that's a little bit tricky. But what you can do is you can save these settings into the registration buttons. So at the moment, let's just go back to stage piano. Here's stage piano, is middle C, is in the usual place, middle C on the keyboard, is playing the pitch of middle C. So I could save that to one of my registrations. So let's do that. Let's save it in, a, in one of the banks. Just a reminder of how to change banks. You can do it by keep pressing it like that. So let's go to bank number 10. I'm going to store um, this piano voice into bank 10 number 1. So hold down the store button, press 1, and it stores into that memory. But let's say I wanted um, to quickly change octave. So I could um, store into memory uh, another stage piano, but in a different octave here in number two. So I'm going to do that, change my octave. I like to have it a little bit lower as well. So I'm going to store that into number two. That's now stored. And I can switch back between the two octaves. With these two buttons. And of course I could be using my left hand while my right hand's playing a melody. So if I press middle C on the keyboard, you'll hear middle C on registration number one, on registration number two, it plays the octave lower. And we can also uh, play around with the transposition as well. If I wanted, um, so I want this piano here in middle C, but if in the next verse I wanted to play it a semitone higher, I could just um, save, um, first of all transpose it, and then save it into, I'll save it into a registration two again. So this is registration two, I'm playing middle C on the keyboard. I'm gonna go back to registration one, play middle C. So you can hear how it's changing um, by a semitone um, just by programming it into the registrations, uh, those settings will be saved. So I hope that gives you something to uh, think about. In future videos, I'm going to go more into the kind of creative side of some of these keys and how to program and how to put some of the rhythms and the phrase pads together as well. Um, but that should get you started with transposition and with octave. Thanks for watching.